welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you my foundation routine and I'm going to show you how I apply my foundation and contour as well and if you want to see how I do that don't uh, give a thumbs up, keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. First I'm going to begin with taking this uh, Talica Photo Hydro Day cream and just moisturize my skin a little bit. Some of my favorite foundations that I use, there are full coverage that I use during the summer. I can't use during the winter because my skin is too dry and when I take those foundations they look kind of patchy and cracking on my nose and don't, doesn't look good. So After this I like to go over with my primer. I do use a couple of primers, different primers, but today I'm going to use this of Mineral Infused. I like this primer. Now, the foundation that I reached for these couple of days is this Estee Lauder Double Wear. Uh, I got this like for maybe one or two weeks ago and this is the foundation that I'm now reaching for so that's why I have it. Then I have my favorite uh, Revlon Color Stay that I also use. Now I'm going to use my beauty blender to apply my foundation. And I always start on this part of my face because I'm really dry on my nose and if I take foundation right on that place or part of my face it gets too khaki and doesn't look good so I'll concentrate on this part and then I will bring the rest that I have on my good blender. started with makeup I was maybe 15 or 16 years old um, I watched many youtubers many videos how you put how you do your makeup and how you do your foundation or contour or eyeshadow look because I really haven't I didn't have any idea what I was doing so that's why I'm doing this video maybe it will help some of you guys or maybe not but I've watched many videos because I wanted to see what works for someone, maybe doesn't work for somebody else and I just want to learn new stuff and learn new techniques of putting makeup so this is how I do uh, technique or this way to do it, it's not best for everyone but it works for me and I like it. So I do spend a lot of time like uh, dabbing this beauty blender with foundation all over my skin that's because I want it to look as close to my skin as possible. I don't want it to look that like I have a lot of foundation or a lot of makeup. And it's natural. And now when I'm happy with the foundation, I do with the concealer. And the concealer that I really like right now, it's this uh, from Maybelline. Anti-Age Erase Eye Perfect and, uh, Cover Concealer. And this is... I think they have two shades, I'm not sure, really sure. Light and I think it was light to medium or medium. And for that I will uh, use this Laura Mercier and this is translucent powder and I will set my makeup with this, this one too, and a lot of powder on my beauty blender and 
bake under my eye. I try to avoid baking when my skin is too dry. But today I'm going to show you how you do that. You don't have to do that. But it's important that you set your concealer with some powder. And for the rest of my face I will use this big fluffy brush and take some powder on it. And now we will contour. And for the contour I will use this eye lip face um, palette from e.l.f. I haven't used this one before so it will be first time and I don't know why I do this video with new products but I think I just want to try this one so and I think I will use this shade to contour my face and then I will try a little bit of dark I will try a darker color and I will try this one also to go over the contour and while I'm doing this in my foundation routine, it's because I always contour my face. If I'm sometimes I don't use to as much contour as I'm using right now, but I'll always like to have that line because my face is round and I just want to make it I don't know longer. <laughs> to do is to clean my contour a little bit so I will do this I will take my beauty blender and my setting powder It has been five minutes since we baked, so I will remove the powder or the <music> Then we are going to do some take some bronzer and the bronzer that are really like and always reach for right now it's this elf contouring blush and bronzing powder it has kind of a shimmer in it i did show this in another video of mine so i'll take this on the same brush blush I will use this color in this palette this pinky one and I haven't tried this before so it will be interesting to see highlighter I always have a highlighter that's something I can't be without when I go to work I'll use just a little bit of it but now when I'm going out I take a little bit more so and today I'm going to try this or not try it already try this one but 
I just got this like, uh, highlighter for Makeup Geek. It's Midnight Sun. And I'm in love in this highlighter. I did order another color too. Luster, I think, but it didn't arrive. I don't know why, but this is how it looks. It's a beautiful goldish color, gold champagne. I don't know how you. Can you see how beautiful it is? Of course, you can build it up if you want to, but this is what I usually have. And of course, the most needs contour too. Oh, highlighter too. And then I set everything with my setting spray. I used to use this uh, MAC Prep and Prime, and I love this one. But I got this for a couple of weeks, weeks ago. Slay all day setting power, uh, setting spray and I like both of them so but today I'm going to use my MAC Prep and Prime and set this is my foundation routine and this is what I do almost every day give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching bye